Yo, 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 guys. So as you saw from the title, you want to know, is it worth getting a 240 hertz monitor? And the answer is, hell yeah. Here's why. So if you're thinking of buying a 240 hertz gaming monitor, but you don't know which ones to consider, I'll be going into the gaming monitor I got, which is the BenQ XL2740. And hopefully this video can either help you decide whether to consider this one or not. So let's get into it. The very first thing I noticed once I popped into a game was the color contrast. It was quite strong as everything felt like it was popping out, which really didn't bother me because it helped me to see enemies better. Of course, you also got that option to adjust your settings to the monitor menu. It's got plenty of customizations such as the black equalizer, color vibrance, it's got the brightness, contrast, and so on. A lot of customization tending to your needs as a competitive gamer. This monitor also comes with an S switch, which gives the option to switch between profiles. So when you do get into a game, you know, some maps have a brighter outlook than others. You can create a profile which has the right brightness, the right contrast, etc. for that map. And when you get into a map that has darker settings, you can switch into the other profiles that you've created, which is meant for those maps. The second thing I noticed was how fluid the gameplay felt. A lot of people would say that you don't see much of a difference when you jump from 144 hertz to 240 hertz. But for me, I saw a major difference in performance. The gameplay was much more responsive. It was more fluid. There was no input lag. There was less motion blur. It just felt overall amazing to play CSGO on. And people have wondered if you have a 240 hertz monitor, do you see your opponent first? From my experiences so far, not necessarily. You should work on your reaction time more than just saying, oh, I got a 240 hertz monitor and I'll win. I'll win my 1v1s more. No, 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 no. When enemies peek you, it looks more fluid. And in return, you can get a cleaner shot off on your enemy. But if your enemies are playing on 144 hertz monitor, they can easily outgun you if you got a slower reaction time and they've got also good pre-aim. So don't believe that you easily become good at the game just because you got a 240 hertz monitor. The best thing to do is to, yeah, work on your reaction time. But if you're tied for money, I suggest you go for 144 hertz monitor first, then get good at the game, and then future-proof your setup and get a 240 hertz monitor. The third thing I noticed was the quality. Now this monitor is not meant for high quality imaging or for you to watch movies on. This was built to provide the best competitive gaming experience for you. So if you're more of like a casual gamer or a casual streamer and you still wanna have a 240 hertz gaming monitor to future-proof your setup, Better go with an IPS panel 240 hertz gaming monitors like the LG Ultra Gear or the Acer Nitro. But if you are a competitive gamer and you want like, you want the best experience and you want the upper advantages against your enemies, then the BenQ XL2740 or the XL2546 are good choices for you. These two monitors are TN panels, not IPS. So they focus more on giving the best gaming experiences. And the difference is, is that the BenQ XL2740 is a 27 inch and the XL2546 is a 25 inch. So it's completely up to you. If you want a bigger size, no problem. If you want the 25 inch, up to you. I've tried this monitor on CSGO, Apex Legends and Overwatch. All games have looked amazing and very clean, very responsive. And as CSGO is my main choice of game, this monitor was my choice of monitor as it makes my game much better to play on. Plus, you know, I got a bigger screen, bigger opponents. Feels slightly easier to aim. And uh, I previously owned a BenQ XL2411P, which is a 144 hertz monitor for around five to six years. And moving to the 240 hertz monitor is the best choice, not just for me, but for any hardcore gamer or streamer can, can make to future-proof your setup and get the best competitive gaming experience. So all in all, as I said in the beginning, yes, it is definitely worth getting a 240 hertz monitor if you wanna future-proof your setup. 
It just depends if you are a casual gamer or a competitive gamer. If you are a casual gamer, getting the IPS panel gaming monitors would be the better choice as it gives the best viewing angles, the better colors and better display quality. But if you are a competitive gamer, the TM panel monitors would be your monitor of choice because it's got low response times, it's got higher refresh rates, very minimal motion blur and low input lag, which is all the positives to give you that upper edge in competitive gaming. But keep in mind before you purchase these monitors that your setup must be able to dish out 240 frames per second or FPS to get that full potential of the monitor. Otherwise, it would be just a complete waste of money. So there you have it. I hope this video helped you understand more whether this BenQ monitor is good for you or not. And remember guys, stay frosty and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace.